Hello everybody, uh, in this video I will be sharing with you what I have learned throughout the past few months on how to operate the robot using real-time data exchange. So it is important for you to understand that if you are a more advanced user you will probably not benefit from what I'm going to teach you. I'm a student who works with the robot for the past few months and I know the struggle of starting to work with the robot. It's really hard to understand where to start, what resources to use, how to write your own first program. It requires a lot of trial and error. And I was thinking that because no one makes this kind of videos, maybe I can share my insight on this topic and it will help you progress and just make the, the learning process faster and more enjoyable for you. So in my example, I will be using um, a laptop uh, with a Python programming language uh, as my external uh, PC. And as a robot, I use Universal Robot UR5E. So a few very important points. Where, where do we start? First of all, the first thing I highly recommend you to do is to type in Universal Robots Forum, register for it, and just browse through what people wrote about. This is a place where I started. It has a great community, great moderators, admins, and people who are willing to help you. There are many uh, questions that you can browse, and you can probably the same questions that you have, someone had them before, you can find the solutions for them, and it will help you to learn faster and to find answers to your problems. Next thing, uh, this is where we will start, is to, you need to type in RTDE uh, Universal Robots in Google, and this website will pop out. This website basically describes uh, the whole communication, how sockets work, etc, etc. The fact that thanks to the real-time data exchange, you are able to communicate with the robot uh, in 500 Hz. You can send packages and receive packages in 500 Hz. So the first thing you will need to do after uh, opening this website, you scroll to the bottom and you will find here attached files. The second attached file is called RTD 2.6 release.zip. This is the name of the file as of today. However, this might change with the time if the new release will come. Uh, what you want to do is to download this and open it in your Python interpreter. I'm going to be using a PyCharm, so let's go to PyCharm right now. As you can see on the left side, uh, I open the project and I open the, the files that we downloaded. We have two main folders, one is called examples and another one is called RTDE. RTDE folder contains different scripts that uh, for most of you uh, are not really needed, but rtde.py basically contains all the functions, methods that allow for communication with the robot, meaning sending inputs, uh, sending outputs, etc. etc. Um, I personally did not play too much in this uh, with this script. What is important for you as for a person starting is that over here you have defined state which you can also access to check if the robot is disconnected, connected, started or paused. Uh, also, an important thing, uh, in the line 141, you can find a function called send output setup. And if you want to be able to send outputs in 500 Hz, meaning every 0.002 seconds, instead of in 125, you can change over here the frequency to 500. This is all depends on uh, whether it is important for you to, to be able to send uh, messages in, in a higher frequency or not. I think it's worth mentioning because this is something I didn't know for a while and it took me a while to, to find this information. Now to the main, main course. Um, going into examples folder, we have two files that we will be looking in. First one is called control loop configuration. Control loop configuration.xml file allows you to define what you are interested in. What do I mean by that? Let's go from top to bottom. So first thing we can see, we have recipe key state. 
So over, over here we can see the states that we are interested in, meaning what do we want to what do we want to read? What do we want a robot to send us so we can look at it? So for example, we have over here actual Q, meaning actual joint values. So we have a vector 6D, meaning it has six positions. So in my case, because I have a six degree of freedom robot, uh, by using this state, by reading that state, I will be able to read the actual joint position. We have many, many other definitions. And if you want to define them, what do you need to do is to go to the same website from which you downloaded the Python uh, initial package. And you can find over here, uh, scrolling up, robot controller outputs. It basically gives you all the available names, types, as well as a comment about when do we use them and what do they do. From here, you can copy paste them over here in the same format as given. And this basically will later allow you in your program to read the desired states that you need for your application. We will learn how to do it in next tutorial. Now coming to the recipe key equals set point. Uh, here, basically, if we want to exchange a data between computer and a robot, in the first part, we defined uh, recipes that allow us to send packages from robot to computer. In this part, we will learn how to send data from computer to the robot. So in order to do it, we need to define registers which are going to store the values of desired type. So let's say we want to send a number 2.54 to a certain register. So in this case, we need a type double or float, and we need to define this kind of a register in order for it to be available for sending the data that we want to send. Again, those recipes are also defined in the same website, uh, not in the output, but we scroll a little bit lower till we find, or maybe, sorry, higher, till we find inputs over here, robot controller inputs, and for example, the, the one we could so see before, input double register X, where X is defined in some range. So uh, again, this is basically the Bible of RTDE. Uh, you're supposed to know it really well. And because here you will find most of the recipes, most of the useful information for your communication. We also have a recipe called a uh, watchdog. I'm not going to talk about it here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments and I will try to explain over there. The next file, after defining the recipes, meaning the inputs and the outputs that we, we, wanna, we are interested in, we go to example control loop. And this is basically the first program that's provided for us by Universal Robot. Um, I will talk about it in the next video. And we will go step by step trying to understand at least the basic functionality so that you can modify it for your own need. You can validate that the frequency of communication is correct and hopefully write your own uh, application for the robot. And based on that, you will be able to learn and start adding more and more complicated uh, functions that will just make your program bigger and it will be able to do what you want it to do. Uh, I know I'm not professional and this is my first video, but I hope that at least for the beginners it will give you a point to start. So good luck and hopefully see you in the next video.